It's time to open up another faction bundle. I'm just breezing through these. I've been having a blast opening up so many packs recently. And yeah, they're getting to us late, but I'm just really happy to actually be in this moment and actually being able to open these faction bundles. I've already posted the Ventus video and I kind of explained, you know, how these were listed and where I got them and such. So be sure to watch the Ventus faction bundle unboxing. Uh, we got some pretty cool cards, but I'm actually really excited for this Chaos one as well because I didn't buy the Pyrus one because that Pyrus bundle was like the only bundle that there just really wasn't anything I specifically wanted from it when it comes to the promo cards. So as such, I just bought one of each of the other ones and in the future, depending on if I'm still missing cards or if I need any of these promos, I will definitely buy more. So you can see the back, you can see the uh, promo drum wave over there. Almost knocked over the camera there, sorry about that. And yeah, definitely uh, far easier just to cut into it rather than uh, trying to use the scissors to actually open all the tape like I did last time. You got the little rule book that's not very important to me, but it is there for people who want to play uh, and they don't know the rules, I guess. Really excited to have these deck boxes. I know I stated in the Ventus video that like, yes, they are cardboard and they're not like the most high quality of things, but it is honestly super nice to get these deck boxes just to store like spare cards in because my card collection is huge. And of course I'm not gonna use all of those, especially, you know, cards from like BB or BR or AA that just don't see play or even couldn't see play. But yeah, really cool. This one honestly looks better than the Ventus one. Here, I'll actually bring in the Ventus uh, box for comparison. I think that the Chaos one just looks a little bit better with those colors. The teal looks really nice. And uh, if you if you heard some cards bumping around in the uh, Ventus box, that's simply because I put all the cards that we pulled into that box. So we're here, we got the packs. That promo looks absolutely fantastic. I don't think Drum Wave is a very good card though. So we didn't pull many good cards in the last box, but I'm really hoping we can get one here. So. Uh, let's take a look at this. Wow, that actually looks so good. I don't know what this is. I guess that's supposed to be the rest of the art kind of extending down at the bottom. I'm not sure what those colors are, though. But you got Gorthy on there going across the foil. Is It's not. It's kind of like a little bit different than a normal hex foil. You know, it's still hex, but it's like a little bit different. That looks, it looks so good. This is a reprint from AA. It's just a regular rare, but that's still pretty cool. Um, for four, you attach a Bakugor from the field to an open Bakugan and Domination. Uh, that Bakugan gets plus three Frost. Definitely would be interesting in a Frost Strike based deck. Uh, it looks really good, but sadly, I don't think it's ever going to see the light of day being played in any of my decks. We do, however, have this promo pack, and you can already see the AA Leah, and I am super excited for that. Uh, so let's get into it. So yeah, we got the Leah here. Of course, like I stated in the Ventus video, these are reprints with the new text. So instead of just saying hero or evo or action, it now says Baku evo, Baku hero, Baku action. And I said this before, but I really like that they did this because it means that they can reprint older cards, but the older ones don't lose value because there are gonna be some people who just want the original printing. And I actually had two copies of this before, but now I have a, a, a third and that makes a play set. So I'm really excited. I hope that hero decks become good again, because this is a great card. When you open a Bakugan, you look at the top three cards of your deck. If one of them is a hero, you can play it for free. Honestly, fantastic. Deck fins, gets your heroes. You you know, if you're playing Maximus, this is a good card to run uh, as well. And it, I love the art too. You know, you got Pegatrix with like a little baby Lee on top. Awesome. Oh, this is actually really cool. Luck Aura. So fun fact, my first ever Bakugan pack opening that I did uh, the first few times that I opened the pack, I wanted to open just one pack per video, and I spent like five minutes talking about all the cards. Really old, you know, back from January 2020, or 2019, but actually this was the card that I pulled for my very first pack, so it's actually kind of cool to see a reprint of this. Uh, not very good as a flip, but we also got Stand Together, which is definitely a great flip. Very, very happy to get this. Domination, this is free, non chaos like that's really great. We also got... Chaos Strata, which definitely works well with the Leah card for sure. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is from Bakugan Resurgence. I definitely have a few copies of this, but honestly, still a really cool card. And Sonic Chain, I think I have a playset of this now actually from Age of Aurelis. We got Wayne, also a great card. Uh, I already have a couple copies of this. We have D, Blinding Light, pretty good for Hero. Uh, this isn't too good, and I don't think these are too good, but the art on these is actually really cool. 
So yeah, actually not that bad. You know, all three of the uh, the super rares are pretty okay. Stand together is definitely very nice, and of course that Leah is very very happy, uh, very very exciting to get. But we still have four packs, so can we actually pull a Bakugan Elite? And if we pull one, please let it be one of the ones I wanted. Let's start off with our boy Enoch over here. And I'm hoping that I can open this up like this without having to tear off the side. I guess I won't. But yeah, really, really excited. Uh, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna guess. We're gonna get Pegatrix. Three, two, one. Oh, Dragonoid, okay. So please, Baku and Elite, let's do this. All right, so we got Baku Block. Of course, this was the first set with the dual faction cards. Over and under. Hey, very nice. Tempest Generator, already a card that I wanted. That's great. I'm pretty sure that I actually already had a copy of this from the Invitational last year, but I have two copies now. That's great. I'm setting that aside. Aqua Plate. I love the art on that one. We have Baku Crusher. Baku Thrusters. Ooh, whoa. Hyper Pegatrix. Oh, darn it. It's not Pegatrix Ultra. Wings of Aquos. Ooh, whoa! Okay, this is actually a pretty good card. Spirit Speed for three. Play a non-flip card from your hand with a cost of five or less for free. So you basically, like, if you have this high-cost card, play it for free. And then Empowered, you may play an additional, you may pay an additional three to play this, to play another non-flip card. So basically, potentially, you know, you could pay, like, eight, right, for this. But then you get to play two other cards for free. And depending on how big they are, you know, ideally, the idea with this is that you'd play two cards that cost five energy, and then you're basically getting them for three energy less. That's the idea. This is a pretty good card. And Windstorm. I actually pulled this out of the last box. But that was actually a pretty good pack. Like, I don't know if I'll ever use this, but that's definitely one of the better supers from the set. That's exciting. Let's go in with the Cyrus pack here. I'm gonna open from the bottom, because why not? And that actually opened really nice. Drago. Nope, Hydrus. Okay. Baku Crusher. We pulled like a thousand of these. Natural uh, Defenses. Swirling Darkness. Max React. Pyro, por Pyro Portal. Cosmic Fireball. Ooh, Diamond Dragon. I love that Evo. It's a shame he's a Fist Bakugan, but, you know, that's what it is. Diamond Gilator. And Corruption. Ooh, a Sync. I don't think this is a very good Sync card, but it's there. Draw three, reveal a uh, four energy card if you do your opponent discards one. And Giant Inferno, plus Double Strike for two. Yeah, that pack wasn't the best. Please, 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 Bakugan Elite. Come on, Dragonoid, give us the luck. Nope, I, I'm going to keep trying. One day I'll be able to open it by ripping it out the back, because I really hate ripping it from the side. <laughs> nope. Oh my goodness. There we go. I'm just destroying these packs. Pegatrix. Nope. Are we even going to pull Pegatrix? All right. We got Wing Armor, Prism Blast, Sting Laser, Darkest Storm, Darkest Slice. That's the actual cover pack art. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hail Crescents, Ventus Fort, Heaven and Earth Strike, Ventus Roar. Don't know if that's very good. And that's... Oh my gosh. I got another copy of this. I actually pulled one of these previously. Hydrus Ultimate Gamer. I, I love that. But again, where are the high rarity cards? We have one pack left. Come on. Ventus Maximus Dragonoid. Maybe Hex Tempest Generator. I don't know. Cyrus, give us the luck. It's the Chaos Box. This is the Chaos Cyrus pack. Please, 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 please. All right. I, ca I keep calling Pegatrix, so I'm just going to say Pegatrix. Another Hydrus. You know what? Just for the suspense, I'm going to put those down there. That's the uh, super error or higher. That's the hex. Focus fire. Pyro obliterator. Oop. Hyper drago. Pyro obliterator is actually pretty good. Uh, Hyper dragonoid. Another hyper dragonoid. Hyper pegatrix. Titan trox. Watery deflection. Chaos control. What is this going to be? Another ventus roar. Are you kidding me? No. No, please do not end like this. And lightning wing. No ARs, no Bakugan Elites. I suppose this is kind of better than some of the awesome rares in the set, though. But either way, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Detective, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.